Good afternoon, Pixel Freak here from the CoinOps Project's Discord server. CoinOps fans, here is a quick drive-by of the arcades version. Collections Arcades is dropping. Um, I wanted to give you a quicker review of just more of what's going on in the menus and the games and a couple of quick features. Uh, there is a different, longer version that I've made regarding the documents, uh, how to use. It's more of a deeper dive. This is just kind of a quick drive by a teaser trailer, if you will. Here's the original directory. Only two executables with manufacturers or without. That changes how many genres and collections are shown on the upper level menu instead of just the basics. Now, arcades has a significant higher number of games. If you look at the emulators, it's more than just MAME, although it is concentrating only on what would be considered kind of coin-operated arcades. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into with manufacturers so you can see it. Uh, this is going to be the cabinet and wheel default theme. If you look in here, you've got the upper level, which has uh, genres and collections. Favorites works on here with the start button. On or off, we'll select up or down. We'll take you into the favorites menu. This is where you select them because the heart is not filled in. It is gray or orange, depending on if it's favorited or not. Up or down or the Y button will take you into the favorites playlist. More on that in the documents because some people get confused. This shows that I'm in the actual favorites playlist because I pressed up and it's only showing the 10 that have been favorited. Pressing start on one of these at this point will just simply kick it out. There's only toggle you can have. You're in the favorites playlist. You're unfavoriting it. Otherwise, in the all uh, collections or genres, that's where you would add it. Okay, so add it or remove it. That is the difference between favorites and uh, playlist. Now, if you go into the actual lower level, the games, look here, 1,237 arcade games presented in this build. This is, if you notice, the cover is sliding back and forth behind. This is the regular cabinet wheel theme. There is a fast version where the cover behind it will just freeze and wait for you to finish scrolling and then it will pop up. I'm not gonna show that one separately. It's covered in the bigger and that is the only change. So all arcades left to right to get out. Up or down is game selection. Wall theme, which has its differences, is the only one that's treated different and does not have this type of a layout. Wall theme will instead, I will show you, but it does not allow collections and genres to be favorited on this level because it has auto enter enabled and it just goes in. I will show you the difference, but on these ones, see how you can add it or not. Okay, settings GUI menu. There are seven different options. One of the things I like to show off that gets overlooked, glass by default is the scuffed version. It says glass on. If you hit it again, oh no, it stays glass on. I must have done something wrong. No, look at the distinction. In the actual picture, you will see uh, T-molding and a reflection of arcade cabinets. This is glass reflective mode. Again, covered in the bigger, but I'm going to turn it on because that's going to give a glass blur effect of a soft arcade behind. I like that. Music in the background, it is different than the music off. This is music in the settings, which is always on. BP does this, so he will chase you out of the settings. Go play games. This is a uh, real meaning here. Music toggling it on or off will be for when you're in the actual selection menus. So with that, I've turned it on. I want to show you uh, in Arcade what that reflection is. Notice that it remembered where it was because multi-level menus can do that. The player builds, which have single flat uh, layers, cannot do that. It always starts back at the beginning. But the games menus will remember where you were. Zookeeper, I like that one because it's a black background and it will show easily. See, look at that. That is the blur and the reflective mode. You still have a little bit of scuff on the glass, but it includes the reflection now. There are three different options. Again, I will show you that. And those three options are only available in the advanced configs. All right. So with that, this is this theme. I'm going to duck out. We are going to change the theme to Marquee. I think Marquee needs some love because there's been a lot of work put in by the crew and the artists that are members at the Discord uh, server. They have been going through these meticulously, refreshing them up to high definition quality and resizing them so that not only will they display on second, uh, uh, second marquee screens that people have, but even here in the themes, they just look absolutely top notch, coin ops quality for sure. So this is the marquee theme again, up and down for game selection. Why will change into the favorites playlist. Notice the heart is thumping, okay? And when you're in the all, you can select games to start. That all still works left and right, gets you out of the menu. So this is the marquee. You've already seen cabinet wheel and you can understand cabinet wheel fast. So then I'm going to duck in and I'm going fast because hey, these are just supposed to be teaser trailers. Wall, this one gets treated differently with the features. 
It is such a favorite that it has been included, but it has different limitations. Look, left and right, opposite controls to select your games. It has audio from multiple sources all at once and three videos playing at all times. It's a little bit slower because it's really pushing the envelope on what it can present. It's not like cabinet fast wheel. So uh, I also want to show you that up and down will change the genres and collections. Holding it down to navigate, letting go, you do not hit a button. It is auto enter. That is also the very reason why you cannot toggle favorites on genres and collections in the wall mode only. Because if I toggle at this point, it's on a game. You cannot reach that upper level menu. You can only operate it. So favorites does not, if that makes sense. In other words, you're not staying on this menu for genres and collections, so you can't select them as far as favorites. Now, in wall theme, I don't want to confuse you. It's a 10-yard fight. Huh? Everyone will love me for this. Uh, but notice you go into the game, coin and start for arcade controls or back and select for a regular controls, always exits games. But look, you can still favorite actual games and use the games playlist. See that? Okay. Now, that is different for all the other uh, themes where you can actually select and favorite. Now, I want you to understand that the arcades version, look at the dock that comes with it. It will give a breakdown of the Sega Model 3, the Daphne. The, uh, it has Afterburner Climax. It has some PC versions of some very famous arcade. Outrate, Outrun 2006. Daytona is the PC version. It also has Ultra Street Fighter 4. Uh, those that have de-input controls are going to run into problems with Ultra Street Fighter 4 because it's ex input controls. Go to the Discord server and there might be options there as well but enjoy it's a great release just wanted to show get the appetites wet because it's coming soon the full version of collections is in the pipeline and will be coming when it's ready but in the meantime enjoy arcade legends versions of collections before we go this is the cabinet wheel fast notice how the cover in the background doesn't so see you on the discord server enjoy gaming Game on. We'll see you there.